Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be making a quick project on how to make lots of clones such as snow or flakes or a nice background on any screen you'll ever have. So if you want to find out how to do this stuff then don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll get on on the video. So right here I have the new scratch project, of course it's untitled. So all I need you to do is delete the second costume and press this delete button over here. You see it? My mouse pointer. And then zoom right in, like a lot in, you might need to jitter click or something. You can probably hear it. And then hit the circle icon and then fill it with something white. And make sure there's no outline, outline, so press this red line thingy. And then go to backdrops and just color the whole thing black. So make a giant square. Go back to your sprite, make sure it's white. And then draw a circle that is two squares wide, or eight pixels. And if you hold shift, then it'll make a perfect circle. So it should say costume one at the top. 8x8 eight eight up here. So I'm just going to name this sprite Particle. And I'm going to name this Particle 2. Or just 1. Name it 1. And then go to the code and put when green flag clicked, hide. Now you might be wondering why I do this. Because we really don't want to be showing the original clone. Which is not even a clone. So if you click on the particle you can see it highlights this part. So put a repeat, no, forever, and a create clone of myself, and then wait zero seconds. Which basically means that it Scratch will wait until the next tick runs, and 30 ticks happen every second. So every 30 seconds, then 30 ticks would have gone by. No, every one second, 30 ticks go by. So that means it'll have 30 particles per second, and if you want it to be quicker, just remove it. So I want this, and then put a when I start as a clone, um, repeat until Y position from the motion is less than minus 175, let's say. We might need to change that later. And when I actually start before that, put go to X, pick random, minus 240 to 240. And then put a Y of 180. And you should see lots of, lots of them appearing at the top. But one thing I've forgotten to do is put a show block here. So you should see a bunch of white bulbs appearing at the top. And they're not actually falling down, which looks pretty odd if you ask me. And the clones are filling up, so I hit the clone limit. There's nothing left. So we need them to actually fall down and delete themselves once they've hit the bottom. So put a change Y by, let's say, put a minus and a zero in the first part. And then put 30 in the last one and with the divide and then go to looks and put a size block in the middle and then let's put a set size to pick random 1 to 100 in here so now you should see that it should go down depending on which size it is and it has a random size so let's see what this looks like and this actually looks pretty cool and it kind of looks like snow but they're not deleting themselves which looks really odd so all you need to do is just put a delete this clone over here and then they should start to delete themselves when they hit the bottom of the screen and if they don't then all you need to do is make this minus 175 a tiny bit bigger so this does look like snow and if you want more then you just do this and maybe duplicate that and you can see lots more snow is falling on screen but personally I like the one before so this is a pretty cool script to play with, but there's something that can make it even more interactive. So if you also put a motion and put change X by, no, not 10, put a divide here and then put a say 10 here and then put the mouse X here. Uh Oh, too much. Make it 100. So now you should see 
the snow falls in the direction of your mouse pointer. Actually, I'm going to make that even more, 150. So now you should see that the snow falls in the direction of your mouse pointer, which looks really cool, especially for like countdown events or Christmas or something. So I hope you like this video, and if you want me to make more Scratch videos, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I know you Minecraft fans are really waiting for Minecraft videos, so I will make one soon. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.